We pride ourselves on the quality of the whole of our degree programme really and chemical skills at the heart of that but we've not forgotten the other skills that it's really important for you to develop during your degree and those are the kind of skills that are going to lead you into a job, some kind of employability skills as we might call them. So for example all first year students are involved in an event called The Happening where we get local companies to come in and the students get set up into industrial team groups and have to solve real world industrial problems in a setting that's somewhat like what you'd have if you were trying to solve problems in the chemical industry and then all our students work in teams during that exercise but also in the laboratories we set a number of practical exercises where you can only solve the whole problem if you can work effectively as a team with each team member getting some of the results and then working together to get the overview and solve the whole problem. In my current role I use lots of the transferable skills that I gained throughout my chemistry degree. It's given me a really good skill set to start my job. So we, I work as part of a team so we have to communicate with people both verbally and through written work and also liaising with scientists but also the wider public. Throughout the whole of my chemistry degree I've got lots of transferable skills, things like communication, both written and oral, timekeeping, project management, self-motivation, there's lots of work to do and you've got deadlines to meet. A degree in chemistry from the University of York doesn't just give you a chemical education, it also gives you a great deal of employability skills. Uh, every day I use plenty of problem solving, uh, you've got to have good teamwork, good communication, um, brilliant time management if you're going to be a good chemist. During my MChem chemistry course here at York, I learnt an amazing amount of chemistry knowledge, but I also, just as importantly, learnt lots of different employability skills that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Things like problem solving and time management and working within a team, but probably the most important one that I learnt was how to communicate effectively. Um, and I do that now in my job. I, uh, I communicate science to people who, are, who don't have a science background and to young people. And it's really the skills that I learnt at York that, that help me to do this effectively. I mean the amazing thing about chemistry is it's so diverse in the range of possibilities that students have. So I mean obviously there's things like working in the chemical industry, working in the pharmaceutical industry, making new drugs, working with new catalysts and chemicals, but it goes far wider than that. I mean you think about the numeracy skills that chemists have and that opens a whole range of careers where numbers matter in the city, all kinds of different jobs where numeracy is at the heart of it. Many jobs in communicating chemistry, jobs in journalism, jobs in teaching, jobs in editing chemical journals and science background. Obviously my own field of research, nanotechnology, there's a huge number of small companies setting up at the moment with seed corn funding that are looking for bright chemists with smart ideas to come in and get nanoscience and nanotechnology off the ground. So you can really look far beyond just the traditional industrial sectors when you're thinking about careers with your chemistry degree.